fine <clears throat> so uh, like we have seen this particular thing and as now i told that we'll start with another problem and uh, So as I said, uh, regarding waste management, there is another type of waste which is uh, growing in the market and throughout the globe, so, uh, which is the e-waste. So what we did is we have located this property problem. So the societal problem we have located and uh, then we have started working on it. So this is what we can say uh, in short, I, uh, it can be understood. So let's see it in detail, okay, what exactly uh, I want to tell or what exactly the e-waste problem is. Uh, so by the time we uh, would be knowing, okay, yes, there is a problem of municipal solid waste, plastic waste, biomedical waste, agricultural waste, which is rapidly growing. So another type of waste was silently growing and that was nothing but called as e-waste. So uh, what basically e-waste is, so this is a nothing but the electronic waste, in short called as e-waste. Uh, which is in other terminologies called also called as a WEE, West Electric and Electronic Equipment. Uh, so in other words, in simple words, it can also be said that, so these are the electronic goods which are not fit for their originally intended use. If, it, if at all, suppose any electronic equipment is not working uh, uh, as per the requirement, so it is considered as a West, right? So this is nothing but called as E-West. Uh, these are also the discarded electronic equipments uh, which are nearing their, uh, we can say, useful life period. Say, for example, if suppose we are having uh, the old TV, yeah? many of the people, they might be having the old TV, television, the CRT type of one. And uh, nowadays, since there is an, another technology or new technology of LED TVs and all, uh, so like that, the flat panel. Uh, so people, they are, even though the old TV is working well, but uh, we are actually going for this, uh, we can say, uh, uh, the newer one. So in that way, what happens to the old TV? Same, this happened with the old mobile phone. Uh, so what we do is we generally uh, discard it by way that we are giving it to some scrap person, uh, scrap collecting person, I'm saying. And then, um, uh, or suppose, if suppose we know some relatives and all, so if they need it, the older version of the mobile, so we give it to them. But at the end, what happens to that? So uh, let's see. Uh, so as the day technology is growing day by day, more and more advanced technologies they are coming in the market. So the older electronic equipments we are actually uh, discarding. So in that way, the it, will, it may range from the refrigerator, air conditioner, cellular phones, stereos, consumer electronics to computers. Um, so range here. So actually, these are older reports. Actually, as I said, I have started working in 2008 something. Uh, so that I haven't added the recent reports. But even if you consider the older reports, so there was about 3,000, 3,30,000 metric tons of EVS, uh, which generated in India. Additionally, 50,000 tons were illegally imported to the country. And see, they are mislabeled as a charitable donations or scrap. Okay, so uh, the developed countries, they actually, they, they come to know about this problem uh, uh, in very earlier days. So what they did is they have how to tackle with the waste. So basically they have actually uh, used a different way of discarding. So they have, they have uh, transported this in the form of a charitable donations to the developing countries. Okay. And... Uh, you might have also heard about that uh, somewhere in sea, the, the ship which is loaded with the electronic vest, it has been actually found over there. So like that, there are so many ways they are following. And uh, you can say uh, sometimes the developed countries, they have transferred this in this way. Uh, the other way is actually they are simply transporting them to the developing countries uh, and uh, 
So in that way, in their world, these are the countries which are called as dumping land for their waste. Okay, China, Ghana, and India. These are nothing but dumping land for the electronic waste which is generated from the developed countries. Okay, actually it was kind of a scenario. Nowadays, like uh, major majority of the countries, they are actually being aware of the fact that he, uh, yes, uh, we should not take it or we should not uh, receive that kind of a waste and rather we have to think about discarding or uh, treating our waste generated which is in our country. Uh, so the important thing is low rate of recycling and uh, the process for removal of the compound is not economical and not eco-friendly even. So this is what the scenario is about the treatment. So why it is called as hazardous waste? So the reason behind that is it is having a toxic metal content. As you know that the EVS is having metal content, so these are the some of the toxic metals which are present over there, and it is also causing the human health problems, uh, as well as the environmental pollution. So generally, what is being practiced is for extracting the metal. So people they come to know that yes, EVS is having such and such metal. Sometimes it is also having gold, silver, palladium, platinum, also such kind of precious metals. They are also there in that. But at the same time, it also has a lead, it has also had a tin, uh, copper, zinc. So such metals, they are also there. So the waste handlers, they are interested in you know, these precious metals. So for that, they actually, they are crudely handling. They are not knowing the health hazards of it. Um, and uh, that is my take. And again, the worst thing is, most of the workers over there, they are child laborers. They are not knowing the hazards of it. Okay. They are simply following the things. See, the pictorial representation can, yeah, this can itself, it will uh, give you an idea that how they are doing the things. See, you can see that this is what we can say called as a PCBs, motherboard. No, motherboard of a computer, as we know, or the circuit board is also called as yeah, sometimes they are actually burning this invest to extract the metals. So what will happen? The remaining board, which is made up of, you know, generally resins and all, will get burned out and the uh, metals, uh, it can be collected. Now, actually, uh, it has been said that uh, this informal sector, in this way of uh, performing, uh, or we can say extraction of the metals is called the informal sector. So these people, they don't know what are the health hazards, what are the pollution hazards of burning this waste. Okay. So uh, this is not a right way uh, and leading to the pollution. So how to remove the metals? As I said, there are some physical, chemical and biological. Levels. So basically, uh, the thing is like, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, among this e-waste, which is a component, which is actually uh, uh, not easy to uh, recycle. Say, as we, if you are taking an example of computer, Computer screen is there, so the glass is there, cabinet is there. So generally, they are actually pure materials. Okay, there is no any much hurdle in pure in, in recycling these kind of things. It is basically the circuit board, circuit board which is actually problematic in nature. Why it is problematic in nature? If you find the reason, so it is heterogeneous in nature. It has various metals and various concentrations. Has a circuit board ahe, ya circuit board madhe mother board apna thala mandu, ya mother board madhe vigoraya. Fine. So in that way, it is difficult to process or to recover the uh, metals from any method because it is having a variety of contain at various concentrations. Uh, so generally, what are the methods which are being used? Physical methods, it is go for incineration or we can say uh, for burning as we, it has been shown over there. In chemically, we can use the, uh, we can say the acids and all. So, but these two methods, they are not that much eco-friendly methods. So, here we can, as I said, key, we are thinking to uh, look at the problem from microbiological, biotechnological point of view. So, that is what we can say, the eco-friendly point of view. So, what we did, it was in 2008 that we have, uh, like I should tell you that I have started working on my PhD and uh, rather than taking any topic for the uh, research, I thought like rather rather than going with the typical uh, ways of doing the research, I thought let's take a actual real time problem of the society. 
So I come to know that uh, like the e-waste is growing and there is no answer, there is no solution, there is no eco-friendly solution for this e-waste. So that I come to know into the head and then I have decided to go with this topic. Uh, so obviously there were any uh, less literature was available, almost four to five groups, I think three to four groups uh, even uh, rather. So uh, these three to four groups throughout the globe, they, were, they have just uh, reported few things about this eco-friendly method, microbiological method for treating the e-waste. So with that, with that, I have started and uh, like uh, we have thought to go with the biological method. So obviously, as I said, is there any microorganism which can remove the metals from this complicated e-waste and how, how it can be done? So that was the question. And uh, uh, let's say what we have found. We found that there is an answer for that. There is a bio-leaching is a concept. In short or in simple words, I would like I would like to tell you all that uh, this is nothing but the use of bacteria to remove the metals from this uh, e-waste. So how come a bacteria removes metal from the e-waste? For that, I would like to tell you, this is actually, these are the bacteria which are naturally present in uh, mining area. Khani ji asta tablea. Dagra chi aple kolsha chi khan honne tapan. So in these mining areas, these bacteria, they are naturally present. So uh, what we did, we have actually taken a sample, the ore sample. The ore sample So that ore sample we have used and uh, we have... Uh, Isolated, or we have rather enriched the bacteria. Acha madhu na ami bacteria kaatle. Ya dagra madhu. Khani madhya dagra madhu na ami bacteria kaatle. Ani the bacteria la vadhu. Amcha lab madhe vadhu. Ani the bacteria va apur apur metals la virghalu shakto. Metal la virghalu shakto. Ashi ti prakriya hai. Ti prakriya madhi lichi. Je sukshma jivan sa apur toh yon apur shakto na virghalu chhe prakriya hi thoru na nu shakto. असा आम्हाला लक्षात आलं आणि मग आम्ही तशा प्रकारचे सूक्ष्म जीव जे आहेत ते अशा खाणी मधून आम्ही आणले आणि त्याचा वापर आम्ही पुढे सुरू केला सो व्हॉट वी डिड इज वी हॅव ब्रॉट द ओल सॅम्पल्स फ्रॉम सच माइनिंग एरियाज अँड देन वी हॅव स्टार्टेड वर्किंग सो जनरली दीज आर द सम फ्यू एग्जांपल्स ऑफ ओल सॅम्पल्स पायराइड चल्कोपायराइड पायरोटाइड सो यू कॅन सी द कंटेंट सो दिस इज इट इज नॉट हॅविंग एनी ऑर्गॅनिक कंटेंट सो इट इज बेसिकली द एपीएस2 से फॉर एग्जांपल पायराइड इज देयर सो हाऊ द how naturally a bacteria is present over there. This is the idea that the bacteria is present over there. So, what is the idea that the bacteria is present over there? What is the idea that the bacteria is present over there? The idea that the bacteria is present over there. So, the idea that the bacteria is present over there. The idea that the bacteria is present over there. If you have iron, the iron is present over there. 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 So we will wonder that such kind of microorganisms they exist in nature that which can consume atmospheric CO2, that is fine. We know about it. So the organisms consume in atmospheric CO2. But rather, uh, the second thing is uh, to, uh, consuming the iron as well. So by consuming iron, it is getting energy. So such organisms, they are there. So there are two ways for this biology approach. Number one, as I said, the organisms which are growing in this uh, mining environment. The second one is a heterotrophic leaching. Here, these are the types of organisms which have ability to secrete organic acids. Ashe kahi sukshma jiva hai, ashe kahi bacteria hai, janche kade ability hai, acid tayar karne chai. Ashe pan bacteria ithi wapar hota. Thik, ani the, je, kiwa ashe don padda tiya wapar hai cha, apan hiya pahila padda tiri sakra apna kaam kerela hai. Thik, ani jasa mi mandla ki, uh, I will focus more on uh, not on the exact problem or we can see generalized things about the e-waste, but rather what we did or what anyone can do, uh, the case studies. So that's what actually uh, I'll be discussing more, as I said in the earlier uh, session. So I think because it will be uh, more uh, promising uh, lecture for you people, that's what I thought. Um, so carbon source, as I said, what is there in this? So these organisms, they are using CO2 as a carbon source. CO2 count the bacteria as a 
आयर्न खाऊन ते बॅक्टेरिया जगतायत ठीक आहे आणि ते आयर्न खाऊन ते काय करतायत एफ ई थ्री हा जो घटक आहे ना सो दॅट दे आर मेकिंग एफ ई थ्री प्लस दे आर मेकिंग सो दिस इज ऍक्च्युली द मेकॅनिझम ऑफ दॅट अगेन यू कॅन से दिस थिंग रिॲक्शन्स आय थिंक यू विल नॉट बी दॅट मच केमिस्ट्री पीपल दे कॅन अंडरस्टँड एफ ई एस टू फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एफ ई एस फोर अँड ऑल सो एफ ई थ्री विल बी जनरेटेड so that fe3 will be actually responsible for the movements yeah i think uh, like uh, since we are from a mixed population uh, arts commerce science so i think uh, i will more focus on pictorial representation so that the participants would feel uh, uh, much interesting and uh, the technical things i will be skipping a little bit so see this is what we can say the electron microscopic image of the bacteria which is present here say for example this why this reddening is there it is because of the ferrous consumption and ferric production so ferric ha jo ghatak tayar hoto ahe ferrous khallani he sare lokhanda che prakar hai ferrous ani ferric thik hai mo te khallani tu ferrous khato ahe ani ferric tayar karto ferric tayar karne mo tumhala sa lal rang jo disko hai the reddish color is because of the ferric so generally the bacteria they are present here aapko vatto ye tanu sa dagad ache kuthe bacteria tar khayla kay ahe to he khayla tayar thik hai so these are again some electron microscopic image of these organisms these are actually uh, not ours this is for representation i have taken from the internet the source is not ours um yes heterotrophic as i said these are the organisms which can produce organic acid so these are the types of organisms these are the some examples as i said ki uh, one should know what are the bacteria so these are the few names of the bacteria this is a one way chemotrophic lesion and this is for heterotrophic yes ata mhe tithe jo naturally ki vector present hai to mh khani madhun aplyala je metal bazula karaycha ahe tithe sa apan ka nahi vapar ha ek prashna hai right so tyasathi i would like to answer ki tithe suddha mhanje ekhadya khani cha dagda madhe jeva yacha praman kami ahe dhatu cha praman jeva kami ahe so from that pores we can extract metals by using bacterial solution say you can see over here so this is what we can say arranged this ek dump karun apan tala kay kelela ahe core sample apan thevele ahe mhanje ashe dagda ki jacha madhe dhatu cha praman kami ahe tachatun jar apala dhatu kadaycha astil karan tya dagda madhun kadaycha dhatu manle ki te parvadnar nahi par tyasathi suddha bacteria vapar karnat hato to kasa hi te dakhvale tuma jene karun tumhala hi process karel asa digala karun thevela ahe and in that way the liquid the bacterial solution is being pumped over here and slowly slowly as it sips down uh we can say uh, uh it will be collected now the collected work it will be having the more metal content so like that it is sudha baka kitne madhe pipe taklele ahet and thereby it has been collected collected so these are the few examples uh, for understanding that how this bacterial solution is also being used for recovering the metals from mining area okay so what we have decided we have decided to go with the uh, this particular objectives and uh, uh, we can say what we did exactly i'll show you we have used a bacterial consortium that is a bacterial population simply okay we have used a direct direct bacterial population so that it can be further used for bleaching out yes uh, this is what we can say radhanagari near kolhapur so here i have ordered this particular thing this is nothing but called as what uh, the bauxite sample a bauxite cha dagade kya dagada tun sudha apan te hi bacteria kaatlele ahe इथे बघा चित्रदुर्ग कर्नाटकच्या जवळ चित्रदुर्ग म्हणून ठिकाण आहे तर तिथे हे बंद पडलेली माईन आहे तर तिथे जे काही दगड पडलेले होते हे दगड जे आहे हा दगड हा दगड आपण आणला आणि ह्या दगडामधून आपण काही बॅक्टेरिया शोधून काढले त्या बॅक्टेरिया काय आहे जसं म्हणलं आयर्न खाणारे लोखंड खाणारे बॅक्टेरिया आहेत लोखंड हे जनरल भाषेत सांगतो मी बट बेसिकली वॉट वी आर डुईंग वी आर ऍक्च्युली सिन्स दे आर इटिंग आयर्न मीन्स वॉट दे आर ऍक्च्युली कन्झ्युम द फेरस अँड दे कन्व्हर्टिंग इन टू फेरस फेरिक सो त्यातले आपण बॅक्टेरिया वाढवलेत हे बघा साधारणत यु कॅन सी दॅट सो दिस रेड कलर इज बिकॉज ऑफ दिस एनरीज ग्रोथ एनरीज ग्रोथ ऑफ दिस बॅक्टेरिया विच आर कन्झ्युमिंग आयर्न ज्याचा रंग असा होता तो रंग असा झाला का बरं झाला कारण इथे बॅक्टेरिया प्रेझेंट आहे ह्या बॅक्टेरियाने हा रंग बदलला आहे बॅक्टेरियाने यातला फेरस जो असतो तो खाल्ला आणि म्हणून फेरिक तयार झाला हे जे फेरिक आहे हे आपल्याला पुढे वापरायचं आहे मायक्रोस्कोप साधा मायक्रोस्कोप असतो सो बाय युजिंग 
but through simple microscope, when we need it through simple microscope, you can observe the bacteria like this. Okay, they are moving. Um, see, this is again what we can say uh, the growth of organisms. Here comes the PCBs, printed circuit boards. Um, as I said, various types of printed circuit boards they are there. So that the animal kashias the apple mai diye. We know that here there is a place for the RAM attachment. Then what we can microprocessor is there. Then again, see these are some of the capacitors and all. So like that, this is arrangement, typical arrangement. Here you can see that there is a lining. Okay, this is called the burst lines. Apna burst lines thala mandu. Karishi mandi the. So metal is copper thala mandi kaliyasta. Connections jasta na. Par the copper cha thato ni kiri jasta. Parata hai ekno kana kai connections cross connections ki maske hu nae. There way that that's why there is a layer which is called as a shoulder mask. Generally, it is red color, greenish color, yellow color, or something. Most of the time, it is greenish color layer. So it is uh, called as a shoulder mask. And it's soldering. Shoulder, as we know, shoulder contains lead and teeth. So initially, what we did, we have make it powder form, and this powder form is like this, and we have used a chemical analysis for this. So this is a typical chemical contain. Here you can see the maximum is a copper percentage. This is what we say reported studies, and this is our sample. So it is having a varying percentage of uh, different different metals. Um, as I said, in some sample we have got silver even. Uh, sometimes gold is not detected. But again, it depends on the type of PCB which you have selected for the crushing, or we can say for sampling or for chemical analysis. Some of this they don't have. Some of them they they have. Yes. Now, after the studies, we come to know that ki, while using this powdered form of PCBs, it is having, uh, it is creating some other issues. That's why we have thought not to go with the powdered form, but to go with the actual large pieces of circuit boards. So then we have thought uh, to use this uh, PCBs in a larger form itself. And uh, let's say uh, what we have got. So this is what we can say uh, the process we have. Uh, Long back in like 2012 or something, when uh, the PhD was awarded. So during that time, like I was ready with this kind of solution. So these bus lines, uh, they can, uh, sorry, we can say the solder mask can be removed by some solutions, treatment. Then what we can say, it is being exposed to the bacteria. Now the bacteria can be put on that circuit board and these bacteria, they can remove the metals. So you can see, see the difference. So there, uh, we can say uh, the shining metals over here, if I could focus it, yes. So what I'm saying, here you can see that bus lines are there, and this is a shining copper you can observe, right? So now what bacteria does is, bacteria forms spherous, spherous is coming into, well, consumes spherous, that spherous is coming into fairy, that's so that fairy, it leaches out uh, the metal. The fairy can to get the metal like a little bit of 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 a it is converted into ferric form. Yeah. Uh, I am trying to make it very simple. So, we have to say that ferric is ready. Yeah. Now, what are the ferric has been formed? So, Now, what are the ferric has been formed? So, that ferric is responsible for removal of the uh, copper. Okay. Removal of the copper. So, copper Cu0 form as well. It will be then solubilized. Solubilized salamon is Cu2 plus one convert. So, Fe2 plus is again regenerated. म्हणजे तो या फॉर्म मध्ये कन्वर्ट झाला आणि या फॉर्म मध्ये कन्वर्ट झाला म्हणजे काय नाव दिस एपी2 कॅन अगेन बी युटिलाइज्ड बाय द द ऑर्गनिझम ओके 
So the beauty of the technology is that is we can say the cycling process. Okay, so the cycle between FE three and FE two is built, and this is what we can say the interesting point of this method. If you want to see how the bacteria looks like, so here it is. Uh, we can say these are iron oxidizing bacteria. That's why you can see that the reddish colored bacteria or colonies they are there. These are the few things. Yeah, again, these are some of them. You can see that. So we have identified these bacteria by using some techniques called as DGG, the specific specific primers we have used. Um, this is what we can say phylogenetic relationship. Yeah, I think it will be more technical. That's why I'm skipping these slides. Uh, these are some conclusions. What exactly we have got? So basically, uh, the leaching of this it could be ninety six percent. Then uh, for zinc it is ninety three percent. I am saying the leaching and uh, the recovery it is also been there. Now here comes. So that was the scenario uh, before what you can say you are around uh, two thousand twelve something. Now, later on, I continued the work and then, see, as I said, e-waste is a growing concern and then we have not stopped working on it even after the award. So, we have continued the work and then we have uh, come to know or we have developed a process. Here, what we did is, see, this is what we can say the circuit board is. Here, it is having this, this shining part is what we can say called as a shoulder, okay, actual shoulder. So, the shoulder can be selectively removed which was not done previously in our uh, previous research. So what we are doing, we are actually taking out the shoulder part selectively. So this is called as a selective matter removal. So if I am, uh, if I could uh, make it uh, exactly, so basically the problem of the e-waste or we can say selected body is removal of the matrix. So we are removing even the shoulder part as well in this newly developed technology or upgraded technology. So here, uh, before leaching this, the board is like this. And here, the shining metals, they can be removed. Okay, you can see that the gaps, they are there. So this is called a pre-leaching. Okay, this pre-leaching step, we are removing red and tape selectively. After that, the it is exposed to the second tank. And here, the old uh, shoulder mask is removed selectively, the green layer. Okay, green layer is removed selectively. Now we have got the board like this, the shining board, which is of having the remaining copper and now this board will be so this is a, after pre-treatment this is a pre-leaching and after pre-treatment we get the board and this board if you can now expose to the bacterial solution wherein the copper this shining copper will be removed so it is not only the copper in addition to that we have the nickel zinc aluminium as well so whatever the metals which have been leached out so bio leaching is what the metal is solubilized metal is uh, solubilized in the liquid it is in soluble form now so now what we have to do is we have to put the, uh, the electrodes in this electrode deposition uh, chamber and by that the metals will be deposited on the just electrodes so the metals can be separated out so that has been done and uh, again as i said we have removed the metals copper and all and after that, what is the liquid is remaining? So that liquid is again sent for uh, the this tank. That is a bio leaching tank. So that it can be recycled. That's what I've said. We, uh, because we have already seen the mechanism. Right? So in that way, whatever the leaching agent is there, so it is again and again, it will be recycled. But it can be uh, reused. As I said, for this technology, uh, we have moved. It was initially we were there on technology TRL level 4 and uh, uh, we have applied for the BIRAC. BIRAC is nothing but this uh, the Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council. Actually, it is working initially under DBT, Department of Biotechnology, Government of India. Uh, so, uh, this BIRAC is supporting such kind of technologies which are uh, in early stage technologies. We have applied to them and then uh, they have supported uh, by extending the funds. And uh, so from TRL 4, we have then moved to the TRL level 7. As I said, there are how many TRLs? There are 1 to 9. 
So if this technology is at TRL7, the first one, the laboratory waste, it was TRL8. So here we have actually moved from 10 liter to the 100 liter still stainless. If you remember, for having the TRL8, we have to go to the 1000 liter, then only it will be TRL8. As I said again, I will be emphasizing the things why it is it is essential to go with the high scale. So the reason, if you people remember, is if suppose we want to see basically we have we are recovering the metals, but that too in the laboratory scale. So no company, no industry will be interested in that. Utli company as a leader. मोठे प्रमाणात ते करना करून दाखवलं पाहिजे मोठे प्रमाणात त्यांना होता आहे हे शक्यता दाखवली पाहिजे डेमो प्लांट तर म्हणतो आपण तसा डेमो सेशन जर असेल तर काय होईल की दे विल बी मोर इंटरेस्टेड इन दैट एंड देन द टेक्नोलॉजी कॅन बी ट्रान्सफर फाइन एंड बी कमर्शियलाइज सो फॉर दैट इट इज इट इज एसेंशियल एंड देन वी हैव टेकन अ इट अप इट अप बाय दैट एज यू कैन सी इवन फ्रॉम टू माय बैक साइड इवन की द सेम प्लांट इज देयर and this is actually the complete scenario for this, uh, how it could be. So the optimized conditions have also been mentioned. Uh, and uh, we can say uh, uh, these are the 10 liter scale studies. So I will be happy to tell you that all these things are set up. We haven't given any contract uh, for setting up the plant. Rather, we have taken this, each of these components one by one from you know different, different uh, suppliers. Like this from the Pune and all. So like that, we have we did it. So it took a lot of energy uh, for for you know for for uh, making this up, but it is actually uh, can say it, uh, for 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 future establishment of such kind of uh, setup we 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 would have got the uh, exact idea. So this is again a hundred liter scale we have here in our campus. So uh, as I said, there are steps: the pre leaching, pre treatment, the main leaching. Uh, like that. So here, uh, this is electro deposition chambers. So now the complete technology can be demonstrated at 100 liter scale. So if at all any company interested in that, so they can see and they can, you know, they can transfer the technology. And obviously, it will be licensed. It is called a technology licensing, as you obviously might be knowing. Um, so um, again, I want to tell you that for this technology, for this technology, uh, the patent filing has been done by Bayrek through Bayrek only. And uh, now we have transferred, we have actually filed the patent in the name of a college actually for this. And uh, so the applicant is college and uh, this technology uh, has been, filed. we have filed a patent, Indian patent uh, through the Bayrek. There is another scheme of the Bayrek, what is the Bayrek path. So under that we did that. And uh, uh, next thing is like the commercialization point of view. It is also being facilitated with the help of Bayrak only. Okay, so Bayrak will be now actually uh, taking care of, of the handholding for cancer technology transfer. These are some economics, whether it is really economical or not. So these are all, we can say, that including the process cost uh, for this technology, how much is the processing cost. So you can see that if we could use the solar additional water, the total processing cost will be 586. Um, let's see the economics of value recover so it will be around so if it is about leaching only it is 972 or if it is deposition then 914 so like that the conclusive of this economic process they have been mentioned every time 2.5 kg it has been used and uh, we, even though it can be run for maximum number of cycles but still we have used for economic only three cycles there's a market for this so the market it includes uh, we can say, yeah, so the statistics they are here, how it is growing, you know that the copper market and EVS management market size is much, much, much higher. So it is like this. And as I said, the TRL7 is there. So there's a late stage validation. Uh, we have demonstrated the technology at 100 liter scale. And now it is ready for the TRL8. It's called the pre-commercialization studies. Yeah, as I said this, so it is in the, the path scheme. So Indian Express and all, even I haven't mentioned other uh, media, they have taken a cognizance of it. Yeah, now something different I want to tell you. Again, from West Management point of view, what we are doing here. So this is another concept of city farming. So it is nothing but a very, very simple way of treating a West. 
like yesterday only i have been called uh, by one of the college to treat their institutional waste so i have suggested them this only what it is see any institution is having lot of trees and uh, the greenery so uh, but the trees and all it is generating some kind of waste the leafy waste Leaf interest, we can say that. Pala Pasura could motor generate the public campus money. Put like college or so, put like station or so. Pala Pasura could motor commons one of you. That's a courage guy. Practical bias from Shakia is a son. Murat Ataskal Paja Naksuta, which are taken to me Kasha Badini, Tumsa, West Management Karataha. So Tarthanic Asana, many institutions they require such kind of things. So what we do is, what we did is, uh, we have these two drums, say for example, okay. Drum like I can so these drums they have some holes almost I think 10 holes to each drum. Okay, these are iron drums and these have 10 holes around. And uh, what we put is we don't put soil in it, not, not at all. Okay, so what we did is we have put you know the west, leaf litters, all this we can say organic waste which is generated in the campus, especially the leaf litters and all. So that we are putting here in the bottom, or you can say throughout this, and then through this hole, what we are doing through this hole, we are putting this uh, plant legs. Okay, okay. 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 We have brought this, uh, uh, you can say plant legs from the nursery or something. So whatever the soil which has been attached to it uh, initially, so that only it will be remain as it is. But apart from that, <coughs> we are not at all adding any soil. Energy. So what we are adding, we are adding simply, or we can say just uh, the leaf litters. Pakta pala pasura takai jai. Rutsa zama zarela pala pasura takai jai. Pala pasura takla ki pani kachauti shim padai jai. We have to add the leaf litters and we have to sprinkle the water on it. That's it. Nothing else. Yes, nothing else. So we just have to put this leaf litters and sprinkle the water till or whenever it is being generated in your campus, the waste is generated, you have to put it. What will happen? So with this, whatever the waste which is being uh, there, the leaf litters and the water is there. So slowly, slowly that leaf litters will be degraded. It's a natural process as we know that. Okay, slowly, slowly it will be getting degraded. As it is getting degraded in this tank, so the nutrients which are released by these uh, by the degradation of this the leafy material will be supplied to the plants. Okay, the pala pasura chhe degradation pasun zamal jeke nutrients sendri padartha jeke tayar hota hai. The te zarele padartha the zarele thana poshak drupet chhada chhe vadi sati. Manje kai will ekach vedi, ta kachre ji pan villevat koili, ani chhada chhe poshan sudha hoy. So actually uh, I should I should uh, um, show you the current picture. That is, all these plants they have flourished well, very well, rather. Okay, so all the plantlets which we have got actually, uh, this is actually the initial picture we have taken up. But all these uh, we can say these holes we have put these uh, plantlets, and now all of them they have flourished so well. Okay, we couldn't imagine ki it has flourished just because of the degradation of the waste product, uh, waste leaf litters generated in the institution. Okay, if suppose your institution is uh, uh, having much more uh, waste material in the campus. So rather than putting two drums, you can put more, four drums, five drums, whatever. But I think that is uh, sufficient for a typical education at, to have a two or at least uh, we can say uh, maximum four drums. If you have, if you really have a big institution, uh, you can really think about having the more drums. But this is a very simple uh, way of degradation of the these leaf litters particularly. At the best and at the same time you're getting this and then, uh, in addition to that what you can do is like uh, apart from this degradation is happening but the plantings you can choose which are you know high oxygen emitting plants high oxygen releasing plants you can use then uh, you can use even medicinal plants so that can be cultivated in the campus so it will also be appreciated by the visitors or you can see the uh, we can say the committees and all uh, uh, so this can be done so this is what we can say we have we, we did uh, yeah this is one more interesting thing like from uh, this point of view what we did is see in our campus we have uh, the corridor 
we are at fourth floor of the, in the in the in the building and we have a corridor and that corridor is having actually this space open space okay what we did is we have put this acrylic pipes uh, uh, in in a circular way and uh, we have this greenies what what is this green color solution this is nothing but the microalgae shewala kala mhanto apan e shewala ahe ka padhatiche ma apan kay kele suruvatila we have started by using the spirulina spirulina tumhala maiti hai it is a high protein content algae actually basically it is a cyanobacteria kala microalgae sudha mhanto apan तो तो सुरुआती but as soon as it get exposed to the sunlight okay so the microalgal biomass it start increasing microalgal such sankhya hai hai bacteria chi hai baka hai asa dikhe dis rahe if you are talking about spirulina hai ashi dis spirulina pan manje hai bacteria hai baka she spiral shape tumhala spring sarkhe ji dista hai bacteria hai okay tar hai asha paddhati je bacteria ki ajun vegle paddhati je bacteria tumhi vadu shakta ki je light varti jagnare bacteria hai manje aplya campus madhe ge जो ओपन स्पेस है ओपन स्पेस मध्य फोटो बायो रिएक्टर अलगल सेल्स विचार करा अलगल सेल दोन पद्धति करता है अलगल सेल एक स्पिरुलेना तुम्हें कर सो यू कैन हेव द अलगल बायोमास यू कैन कन्वर्ट दैट यू कैन ड्राई दैट बायोमास कन्वर्ट इन टू स्पिरुलेना टैबलेट्स विच इज एक्चुअली प्रोटीन सोर्स यू कैन से हाइएस्ट प्रोटीन कंटेन्ट highest natural protein content is there in the spirulina spirulina tablets tumhi ekun asal you might have heard about the spirulina tablets right so either you can go with that other thing is like you can go with the simple microalgae cultivation general algae kutla vadavla apan ani to vadavla janta tacha jo biomass tayar hoil hai na shira shewala sa je purna gole tayar hotil so that you can use for feeding the anaerobic digester je magashi apan charcha ki biogas हा जो अलगर बायोमास तैयार हा बायोमास तैयार करूपन अपन बायो एनर्जी तैयार करू शो बायोगैस मध्यम ओके सो दैट कैन बी डन सो वी आर ऑल्सो डूइंग सच कैंड ऑफ थिंग्स हियर एंड द माइक्रो अलगी टू दर इज बायोमास बायोमास टू बायो एनर्जी मगे जी सुरुआत मैं जी के लिए बायो एनर्जी बायो फ्यूअर्स सो दैट कैन बी ऑल्सो मेड बाय यूजिंग दिस कैंड ऑफ थिंग सो हाउ हाउ वी हैव गॉट द एनर्जी फ्रॉम विच सो basically here we are not generating a we are not uh, utilizing a waste but rather we are utilizing an energy from sunlight for growing the microalgae and that algal biomass from biomass to bioenergy anyways we are forming the bioenergy so in this way we did it like this and uh, that is just for you know for your information because since the topics they are related uh, there is a bioenergy or we can say biofuels or the waste management uh, so i thought it is better to discuss this point as well with you people uh these are some of the this thing yeah and now we'll uh, stop here just by ending the statement uh, i have put a statement i think it is uh, uh, will be more technical for the the people but uh, no doubt i'll explain it to you uh, so simply it is from microbiological point of view apan pahato ki ashe khyaza artha asa hai ashe khup she thikana ahet ki jithe bacteria astat सूक्ष्मीवे वापर अपन करू शो वे एप्लिकेशन सा अशा पद्धति ने वेस्ट डिग्रेडेशन वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट अगे पद्धति एप्लिकेशन करू शो गरज है कशा की फिर योग्य बैक्टेरिया योग्य सूक्ष्मजीव योग्य देर इज अ नीड ऑफ युटिंग राइट ऑर्गैनिजम एट राइट प्लेस दैट इज वॉट वी कैन सी नीड एंड यू कैन सी दैट यू कैन टेक एन एनी एक्साम्पल any waste water example say many waste waters they are generating ammonia in that waste water so there are certain organisms microorganisms which can consume uh, this what we can say uh, the ammonia as a food 
So like that iron we have seen, iron can be consumed by the bacteria. So like that there are ammonia eating bacteria. So, so many different, different things. You know, we can say abilities of microorganisms that are there. Only thing is we have to look carefully and we have to, uh, again, I'll say we have to place right organism at right place. So that is what we can say it is needed. And actually, we are about to finish, but uh, I thought it is just to discuss this particular statement. Uh, so though it is considered with the microbiology, but uh, in general also, uh, one should know what are the abilities of microorganisms. Uh, so that's what I showed. I have shown this previous slide. And with this, I think uh, uh, you are free to ask the questions. Uh, I think uh, I have kept uh, enough time for discussion so that many fruitful discussions should be uh, come out of this kind of uh, such deliberations. That is what, so that the intention behind organizing such kind of, you know, lectures for you people will be fulfilled. So that's why I have kept the enough time for the discussion. So, um, uh, like, I think uh, it's better we can start the discussion session. Yeah, thank you. So, the session is open for the discussion. You can ask any questions. Uh, if you have a questions with the previous session or the second session, uh, so you can raise your queries. I'll try to explain it in the best possible way. Yes. Anyone, any queries? Hello, sir. Yeah. Am I audible? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, you are audible. Yes, sir. My question is that कि आपल्या किचन मध्ये सगळ्यांच्या किचन मध्ये जो काही ऑर्गेनिक जो वेस्ट आपण असतो तर फॉर ईच एंड एव्हरी हाउस होल्ड थिंग व्हॉट वी कॅन इज देयर एनी वे टू युटिलाइज इट इन अ गुड वे अँड और वी कॅन जस्ट त्याच्यापासून आपण काही निर्मिती करू शकतो का जसं की आपण मागच्या आम्ही एका लेक्चर मध्ये ऐकली की त्याच्यामध्ये त्याच्यामध्ये अजून काही ऑप्शन्स आहेत का की जे ऑर्गेनिक वेस्ट आहे घरातलं ते आणि त्याचं कसं केलं पाहिजे मॅनेजमेंट साधारण ठीक आय अप्रिशिएट दॅट समवन हॅज इनिशिएटेड द डिस्कशन बिकॉज मेनी ऑफ द टाइम्स वी सी दॅट ड्युरिंग सच सेशन्स ऍक्च्युली दो मेनी पीपल दे हॅव अ क्वेश्चन बट नो वन डेअर्स टू इनिशिएट द डिस्कशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आय एल अप्रिशिएट यू नाव कमिंग टू द क्वेश्चन नो डाऊट it can be done since it is organic waste as i said in initially the, any organic waste can be converted into bioenergy uh, so for that you have two ways two options either you can go with the small scale uh, biogas plant as i have uh, told you so that can be done um, so what you have to do is you have to you know you have to use that uh, waste you if what possible if you can crush it so then it will be more appropriate because whenever the particle size is less तसं जेवढं ते बारीक केलेलं असेल तेवढं ते लवकर डिग्रेडेशन होईल जर तुम्ही त्या बायोगॅस प्लांट मध्ये ऍज इट इज तसं तसं टाकून दिलं तर काय होईल की ते त्याला डिग्रेडेशन व्हायला वेळ लागेल त्यामुळे बायोगॅस त्याच्यापासून करता येतो हे नक्की आहे की मी नवीन सांगत नाही हे बऱ्याचदा आता खूप ठिकाणी आहे तुम्ही ऐकून आहात हॉटेल वेस्ट पासून होत आहे घरगुती वेस्ट पासून होत आहे संभाजीनगर मध्ये इथे आहे बऱ्याच ठिकाणी आहे तुम्ही पाहिलं असेल की हैदराबाद साईडला तिकडे इट इज ऑल्सो दॅट the vegetable market west is being utilized for conversion to biosyn talking about the scale scale is very less as you are saying it is household scale tyamule tumcha kade ch west he kiti pramanat nikte he kami pramanat hai tyamule ta kami pramanatun tumhala gas asa kiti milna tumhala jo vatat hai ki tumcha colony sa thik plant kela tar to tumhala considerable gas yel garguti karta yet nahi asa nahi garguti nakkis karta yel fakt west pramana je ahe te praman apan kiti takto te pramanat to gas tayar hona re ठीक हा एक मुद्दा दुसरा मुद्दा असा की जर तुम्हाला दुसरा मार्ग करायचा आहे तर दुसरा मार्ग असा की मी मग अशी म्हणलो तसं सिटी फार्मिंगची कन्सेप्ट तुम्हाला सांगितली तुम्हाला फक्त त्या वेस्टचं डिग्रेडेशन करायचं आहे किंवा आपल्या समाधानासाठी जस्ट फॉर अवर सॅटिस्फॅक्शन दॅट येस बिंग एन्व्हायरमेंटल एअर एन्व्हायरमेंटली यू कॅन से अवेअर पर्सन आय एम मॅनेजिंग माय ओन हाऊस होल्ड वेस्ट 
So if you want to uh, satisfy yourself regarding that, so what you can be done is you can have a, this city farming kind of a concepts. So thereby you can, you know, uh, you can simply have such kind of drums. You can put the vest, you can sprinkle the water and then slowly, slowly it gets degraded. There also, if you suppose that uh, key, uh, it is, uh, if it is possible for you to crush it and then feed it, then you're also fine. Okay. But what happens is generally, if you are putting, you know, in, um, if it is just because of the vegetable waste, then it's fine. But if you are talking about, you know, uh, the food waste, the actual food waste, which is the remaining foods I am saying, urlela bhat, poli, asati, varan, asas, apan takaja prayatna kira, kaya hota isha madhe, isha madhe, te kuch to ante sa vasa hi yato. Tamo shikya to apan takta na, asa je urlela kadi kachara ila mantam bhaji pala. Asa da kaya shil, that is fine. Aplya, Angnatla kadi kachara jo asil, apan mune tala pala pacho ala gare, to asil ta to jasti yogi rahi. Pan asa urlela ushta anna jala mantam apan, te shikya to taku nahi hai, takala harikat nahi, te hi degradation hui, but it may smell sometimes. ओके तेवढं पण आपण काळजी घ्यायची उरलेला अन्न शिळ अन्न हे तुम्हाला बायगॅस मध्ये नक्कीच टाकता येईल कारण ते बऱ्यापैकी शिजलेलं असतं त्याचं डिग्रेडेशन लवकर होतं सो आय थिंक दॅट वुड बी द बेस्ट आय होप आय कुड आन्सर यू यस सर थँक यू थँक्यू यस एनी मोर क्वेश्चन्स बिकॉज सी व्हॉट हॅपन्स इज विथ दिस uh actually i try to uh, deliver you the topic that is waste management uh, how it can actually practically uh, been tried to do it practically that also i told you and sometimes it happens that key many of the times uh, we restrict ourselves to the laboratory scale studies so how to extend it to the higher scales um, so that also uh, i try to explain it uh, in a way that what has been done in our lab so uh, that is the case studies any examples you know if you if you see the examples then obviously it is uh, very easy for uh, anyone to you know uh, to go through or we can say to move forward uh, so like that i try to uh, give you the examples and uh, to explain you the best management in a practical way which we did uh, sir mala ajun ek prashna vicharayto ta yes तुम्ही अशा काही आयडियाज अशा काही आम्हाला काही थोडाफार एक्सप्लेन करू शकता का जे जेणेकरून आम्ही आमच्या विद्यार्थ्यांना असे छोटे प्रोजेक्ट देऊ शकतो की जे त्याच्यामध्ये कॉलेज लेवल वरती वर्कआउट होतील किंवा आविष्कार वगैरे यासारख्या ठिकाणी आपण प्रेझेंट करतो तर अशा ठिकाणी त्यांना थोडाफार एक मोटिवेशन देण्यासाठी अशा काही आयडियाज आहेत का जे आम्ही वर्कआउट करू शकतो ऑन कॉलेज लेवल इव्हन एज अ बेस्ट प्रॅक्टिस बेस्ट प्रॅक्टिस सो अशा आयडियाज मुलांना प्रोजेक्टसाठी देणं म्हणजे आपण त्याला असं म्हणूयात की ऍक्च्युली आय डोंट हॅव लाईक एन लिस्ट ऑफ आयडियाज लाईक दॅट आय हॅव अन थॉट ऑफ जस्ट एन एक्झाम्पल इफ यू हॅव डन इन युअर लॅब येस येस दॅट्स वॉट आय एम सेईंग की दॅट इज वॉट ऍक्च्युली आय हॅव गिवन यू ऑलमोस्ट आय थिंक फोर एक्झाम्पल्स टुडे लाईक द लॅबोरेटरी वेस्ट टू बाय एनर्जी दॅन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक वेस्ट टू मेटल रिकव्हरी then what the city farming and this micro algal cultivation so that already four examples i have given you again after that i can tell you ki as like i said uh, at last ki there is an industry which is generating ammonia at large in a, in a larger uh, quantities so aplyala maiti hai ki ashe kahi sukshma jeev ahet ki je ammonia khanare ahet mai tancha khadya aste tanna ja apan ithe thevla manje tya je waste water ahet ya company cha tyacha sobat apan ya bacteria le thevla ta kay hoil to te khatilas na मग त्यांचा प्रॉब्लेमही सॉल्व्ह होईल आणि बॅक्टेरियाला खाद्य मिळेल म्हणजे असं आपल्याला काहीतरी सांगाय घातली पाहिजे की प्रॉब्लेम काय आहे आणि मग त्याला काय सोल्युशन असेल पण इको फ्रेंडली सोल्युशन आपण शक्यतो विचार करावा जेणेकरून ते सस्टेनेबल असेल सो असं आपल्याला प्रॉब्लेम्स आपल्याला पाहावं लागतील की सध्या कुठल्याही कंपनीचे म्हणा समाजाचे म्हणा असे प्रॉब्लेम्स आपण पहिल्यांदा लोकेट केले पाहिजेत की त्या प्रॉब्लेमला आज सोल्युशन काय आहे याचा विचार केला पाहिजे सो वी जस्ट हॅव टू थिंक व्हॉट इज अ प्रॉब्लेम फेस बाय द सोसायटी ऑर द इंडस्ट्री अँड देन वी हॅव टू लुक फॉर द uh eco friendly solution for that so that it will be more sustainable so that can be done and uh, obviously if you are following it from last 2 to 3 years that would be the best practice as per your nac uh, accreditation point of view or we can say the iqsc guidelines point of view so definitely it can be a best practice so but you just have to look at at your aim ki what is the problem and how you can tackle the problem how we can get a solution for that so that would be uh, like uh, 
more beneficial and more sustainable. That's what I think. Right. So I think, uh, is there any questions? So that actually, if it is not, I have to rush to the other program actually. Yes, any more questions? I think no more questions are there. Uh, uh, Chavan sir, will you go for a vote of thanks? Yeah, before that, yes, yes. before going to that, uh, like, uh, uh, I would like to thank uh, again this department, HRDC department uh, of the university for uh, organizing this uh, fantastic function and for organizing me as a speaker. Uh, I really thankful for uh, inviting me uh, for this particular talk and uh, i thank uh, all the participants for you know for, uh, for carefully listening the talk and again for the fruitful discussions i hope uh, uh, every one of you uh, would have got at least some idea uh, for the best management and the things can be done uh, i tried my level best to explain it to you uh, even if not like uh, if suppose if you have any queries later on also you can contact me i'm there in uh, chhatrapati sambhaji nagar uh, in maharashtra uh, in Vivekananda College, I'm heading the Department of Biotechnology and Microbiology. So, yes, you can contact me at any time. Okay, thank you once again. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Is roll number Uh, excuse me, actually, uh, if you don't mind, can I leave the session, please? I have to rest. Hello, hello sir. Hello. Uh, yes. is audible? Yeah, yeah, fine, fine, fine. Uh, okay. Good afternoon to one and all. I would like to thank Dr. Nitin Narari Ardhapura, sir, our resource person for accepting your invitation and joining us today. Your presence has boosted our energy and your thought have inspired us to all. Your idea have really motivated us, sir. Sir has experienced various things about waste management, uh, biogas, bioethane, overview of the process, uh, market value, and e-waste. Various things about the e-waste. I also thankful to UGC HRDC for providing us this platform. I thank to Professor Satish Patil, sir, Director of UGC HRDC, Dr. Baba, sir, Ambedkar, Maratwada University Chhatrapati Sambhaji Nagar and, uh, and also thankful to Mohammed Abdul Rafi sir and Gaurav sir for encourage us. I also thankful to all participants giving your valuable time for this program and listening sincerely. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir.